Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Angelina. Um, I am back into painting again. <laughs> I switched between uh, crafts because uh, I get bored and I need to switch. I'm weird. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to do a simple spread in my art journal. Um, it's just kind of abstract, just simple leaves, simple flowers. Uh, just to show you how easy it is to get started. And once you just start playing, um, you can just go from there. I mean, just let your imagination go wild. I have to see reference pictures because I have no imagination. <laughs> so it's okay to do that. Don't feel bad. Whatever you do is not going to turn out exactly like someone else's. And they're putting it out there like I do for inspiration. You can copy everything that I do, you know, but I can't even copy perfectly. So, but it's the colors, it's the arrangements, it's the ideas of what things you can draw, you know, and to put on a page just so that you're not staring at this white blank page. Um, don't let that stop you. I use a variety of paints, whatever I could find on sale, uh, whatever colors that I thought were pretty. Um, ooh, I did go buy some heavy bodied paints at Hobby Lobby the other day, and those are probably the most expensive. I've got the big set from Arteza, you know, they're just, it was like 60 um different colors so i really like that because i'm not good at mixing and i like to just be able to dig through and find a color that i like um so just whatever you have that you don't have to always worry that you don't have the right thing just whatever you have whatever you can find you can make it work um i look at paintings that are you know that use oil or acrylic and i've done them in watercolor you know, so don't let that hold you back, um, you know, to start having fun. Um, I did go ahead and draw some simple lines on this background just to give me an idea where I wanted to paint. Um, so let's see where it goes. Let's have some fun. Hey, okay, my project or my background is all nice and dry. That actually came out darker than I wanted, but that's okay. Um, now we have several options. We can go straight to our acrylic pens, or we can play with acrylics to make some decorations, some flowers and stuff. And I want this one to be, you know, kind of on the easy and just, you know, fun. So I've got, I think I want to play with some acrylics first. Um, let's see, this will be a pretty color. It's rose and it's just like a deep, deep pink. I'm going to move the table closer. Hold on. Ugh. I'm sitting on my couch. And this is my comfortable position. I used to have everything laying down, so that's like the most important thing. Just get yourself comfortable, because this is just going to be some fun. Oh, we're having fun. And maybe, ooh, this is not a pearl. I haven't used that in a while. This could be some flowers. Um, I've got a mixture of Arteza. Got some De La Rowney. And, I don't know, I think these probably came with this little easel. And, what other colors? Let's get some purple. Mauve Pale. Now I need some stuff for some leaves. Um, is that a pretty color? That's good enough. 
<laughs> I just wanted to be sure it's a different color than this so it'll show up. So, um, let's get another color because I like to do a couple of colors on my leaves. Just, you know, highlights and low lights just to have some fun. And it should be a tube of white in here. Um, yikes, I guess I should have found that first, huh? But I thought I bought some. Yes, I did. I hit Lo Hobby Lobby the other day. The Master's Touch was 50% off, so that was good timing. Okay, and I got in some fun new brushes. These are Transon. Any brush you have, I've used so many different ones, brands. Um, these are like Detail from AIEX. I love these two. I haven't, I have some longer handle of these, but I need some size so that I can make some like long flowers. Will this do? That might be too big. I've got you know, a small space here. So maybe this one. So let me soak that, get the glue off of it. Um, something round for a round flower. So I think I use a filibert. Filibert. <laughs> I'm not even sure what you call them now, so I'll use that. Filibert, right? Um, what else would I need? I don't know yet. We'll see. So those are going to be the first two things. Um, so let's start with something that's going to be nice and long. Let's go from like maybe here to here. So I'm going to need a thin, where am I? Got a liner, don't I? I have a long liner or something. And I can make a nice thin stem. This ain't gonna hold a whole lot, but try it. Okay, so let's start with the rose. I actually bought some flow medium. And that's um, because these are a couple years old, probably three or four, and they're really thick, so it's hard to apply them. And I normally just add water to it, but I'm going to try this. It's kind of an extender. It um, makes it flow better, just like the word says. <laughs> and let's see if I can open this without cutting myself. like water. I've had some before where it was creamier. Okay, so layer. Dip you in, see how you work. Alright, so we said, now with this I feel like a real artist, you know how they do the long hand, but you actually do get a freer movement and not so precise when you're doing that. So that's one of the things that's really fun about this is there's no right or wrong. Okay, that's just looking too thin. And I want it to come down. Sometimes I don't know what it needs, but it's just not working right. These are not heavy bodied paints, and they're not professional grade, but they have so many colors in the kit, you know, it was like 60. And since I'm not good at mixing, whoop, 
Oops. Honestly, not good at holding on to the brush either. Get that off my leg before I smear it everywhere. Um, I really like that big set. Just doing a touch up. I normally have the radio going. <laughs> So if this doesn't turn out right, I'm going to blame it on the lack of radio, okay? That's my story. Okay. Since they're new brushes, they have that, you know, kind of a glue coating on them. So, I have to get that off. So now this is the fun part. Practicing doing leaves. Some leaves you can press down really hard and go up to a point. Other times you start light and press down to the round. Or you start light and press down and you come back up light. I have a hard time getting the light on both ends. But that's what I'm going to attempt. So let's just see how that is. Let's see, we're going Wow, oh, this paint is just really not thick at all. So we're going light touch, press down as I'm going, and back to a light touch once I reach the that stem. see it's not seeing everything it's just a process I guess light touch going down and light touch or lift off I guess you could call that so light press light Ooh, see these are fun Maybe I want some closer. And with nature, not all the leaves are perfectly the same size, even though, you know, they have basic same shapes or something. Some could be eaten by bugs. You know. <laughs> so don't stress about making each one perfectly the same. We're just giving the illusion that there's you no know, leaves here. Let's get some more of that flow stuff. I bet you I could use to shake it up more. So light touch, start dragging, light touch. Let's see if I can do this way. Light, heavy, and light. Uh, and if that doesn't come up right, just fix it. So, I try to practice both ways so that I can get used to it. Just so I don't have to flip everything all over the place. Let's see if I can do it. Light, press, light. Hang on that one. Right. Start pressing. Lift off. See how fun that is? Let's move some of that paint around. Maybe we can spread it to this one. With this paint, sometimes if you add white to it, it'll be more. Opaque. So I'm going to try that. Because I don't like having to go over something three or four times. I don't know if that's laziness. <laughs> or I'm just worried the more I go over it, the more chance I have of messing something up, right? It's kind of cool. And you got to sit them that way. Let's get that out of the way. So by adding white... It's going to lighten it up some. But. 
Let's see what this is looking like. And this is just plain, you know. I'm not trying to be Picasso or, you know, Michelangelo. Just want to have some fun. I think this is going to be kind of on the light side, though. I'm not happy with that. Let's mix that back in. Maybe I did too much. That's way too different from that. And in my mind, I wanted something dark. So let's add some more dark to it. There we go. It's getting darker. Some more liquid. Get me. Okay, let's try this out. Uh, I know it's going to be a totally different color. And it's still doing the spreading thing. Well, that didn't work. I guess two layers is going to be. Coming out cute. See the first one starting off, you gotta get your feel for it, and then you get better. Oh, it needs more talk, the worse it gets. <laughs> Let's see. Easy pressure, and then go light. A little bit light. Why can't you see that one? Yeah, you can. Hmm. Huh. That's just weird. I wonder if that's the brush, why it's just spreading out and not covering. Maybe a lighter pink is probably better because that matches that a lot. And let's see. Oops. Forgot what I was doing. I'm not going to worry about that. I was having a lot of fun with one of my other paintings. I was trying to make the, you know, the leaves long. And I wasn't sure how to do it. And I didn't want them straight. So I was like pressing and turning and then twirling at the end. And it was really giving them good shapes. So I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Now I just have to remember. And these are shorter. I don't know what kind of stem this is. What do you call this? Leaf branch. Flowery thingy. When it's whimsical, who knows? And I think that's why I like doing whimsical because I don't have to be perfect. And the stress is gone. Okay, so I'm going to let all that dry. Excess over here. Clean it. I have a little thingy. Just in case you were wondering what I was doing. Paint up on the barrel. Okay, so let's do this. And let's make some flowers. Let's draw some um, flowers first. These I found on Amazon. Magi. 
MAGI acrylic paint marker. I love them. It's got a bullet on that end, and it's got the pointy thing on this end. <laughs> and it had like, what is it, 20 colors or something? So I love it. So especially since you don't have to buy two. Okay, so. Ooh, that's going to be bad starting there. Um, let's start it a little more over so you can see. There we go. Just so I can have a face. And that was probably too close to the edge. Some of this pretty, I don't know what you call that, but it's shimmery. Well, pearl, I guess pearl. Pearlescent. Let's get some of this flow medium. I wonder if I shook it up more. You know, it sounds like it's just water. I don't think it's anything more than water. Oh, now it's bubbly water. I think it's just water. I love the bottle. Okay, let's see if we can do this right. So I've got my filibert, which is got the rounded edge. And let's try to make a flower. Um, that's probably going to be too close. I'll probably need a smaller one since I'm so close to the edge. Do I have them in this one? started splitting things up depending on how often I used them. Yeah. I found a, but I had these here. I'll try you instead. Okay. Thought this a better size. And I'm just pressing down and lift them up. Okay. This might be the right size. And press them down. Drag and lift. Pressing down. Drag and lift. There's a wonky one. <laughs> Okay, so that's all you have to do with these and it kind of makes a rounded petal and depending on how big you want the flower. And I can never do them all the same size. I am not worrying about them touching or looking perfect at all. These are whimsical flowers. Ooh, that's too big. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's going over the paint. Or if it's just the paint that makes it so... You have to go over it ten times. Okay, so that one's going to wait. Do we have any other blue? we got some blue. Let's put some more blue flowers over here. How do we want these? Let's think for a second. Um... Just go to the side, flat, to the side. Oh, I can't see them in this dark. <laughs> I'm 
just put a bunch here just to cover up the space. You could probably have used a, a round brush for this, but since I had it already dirty, and I know I need to use it as soon as that dries a little bit. So let's do the little ones. It's not going to work that color. It's such a pretty shimmer color though. There, and that's covering it better. There. Those are dark enough. I don't know. I might have to use a different color than this. This looks like it's just going to be too... It's just going to be the wrong. <laughs> I am not good with words. Okay, let's stick you there. I've got a brush sitting in here. Um... Let's see, since we have some of the pink out, um, I've got this little filibert. So let's just make some marks. And that's one of the more fun things to do. I'm just going to start here and just make some marks. Everything I do is like it's going to the side. So guess what? We're going to save the Posca markers to do the marks. For some reason, the acrylic paint is not working right. Okay then. So we got. We have that. We have that. Let's find a bigger brush and do a different kind of leaf. Let's break out the green. And we can do that here. Put some green here. And where is my see this? Will work. Just kind of get a thing going. What? Oh, that's covering a lot better. Hmm, I don't know what the difference was. Okay, so I think I got the glue all off of that, and the lone hair. Uh oh, I don't want to get up though. I don't have a scissor next to me, but I do have nail clippers. So I've just got one hair strand that is sticking out. Okay, so just a dab. So these I want fatter. So let's see. I can start here. Let me curve it. Press down. Up. And press down. And up. And then fill in the center. So that was fun enough. Let's do like a little one. Oh, I gotta go up here too. 
and this is going to be traumatizing for some people. We are going to paint over something we've already painted. <laughs> that used to be so, like, no, you just spent all that time painting that. But it's all about layers. Flat and up. Hmm, that was pretty good. Let's see if I can do that again. <laughs> so we'll just put the brush down and flat and lift it up. And hug that point. Okay, here's another one. You just put the brush down, lean it, and flat. Now if I wanted a bigger leaf, I could have, you know, either did the three strokes or I can get a bigger brush. But I'm working with, you know, small space here, so I didn't want something too big. Okay, so just touching the point, drop. Pushing down and dragging, and lift up. And make that point a little bit. And the more you do these, the more it just happens, and you get all kind of fun shapes. And it's it's about the practice. And I don't practice, I just do. You know, this is my practice book. <laughs> I don't want to waste a sheet of paper, so I practice here because I don't care, you know, what it's going to look like. Um, so this all is my practice. Hey, okay. I'm supposed to get a point. <laughs> and touch and press. And lift and bring it to a point. See, I'm going over some of the leaves. Uh, this could be a little one. Or it's just going off the page. gotta have one more just for fun so we're gonna push lift up okay get a point there we go fill it in. it's not all the way dry yet so I might not fill in properly dry first. There. Okay. So we got another flower in. What else can we do? Um, I think Got white. Let me get a big brush. Yeah. This is my biggest. This is a 12. So let's see what this bad boy can do. Uh, what do we want? We want white. if I have my little line going. So let's see. Neat. Good enough for me. I could have also done that with the Posca pen. Oops. 
Just don't think about it. <laughs> I want to have fun with the acrylics first. All right. So. Doo -doo -doo. I like doing the little thingy off. That way I don't get all up onto the branch. There's that. There's one. Okay, and I want these to be big. So let's see. We're going to press that room all up over here. Like what? Press. Ooh. But I want it more. There. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure how that was going to do. So let's go press and turning and press. Let's get you into a bit of a point. Okay. See, we're just covering up space. That's what it's all about. Let's cover up the space. sure about how that was going to be. That worked out. See, I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> I'm just pressing. Yeah. Pressing. Twirling. Come down to point. There we go. This is thick body paint. You can see the difference in how it goes on and covers versus all this see-through stuff. <laughs> so, let's see. But the thicker body paint is way more expensive. Now, these things... $9.99 Master's Touch. That's only 3.3 ounces. But it was half off, so that's why I got it. And I was out of the, any good white. So I got room here for one more big leaf. So let's see. Look at that. See, and they're all different. I definitely gonna have to go over it. <laughs> okay. So, give that a rest. Um, what else can we do? How about a flower pot? Or do we want a flower pot? Not gonna be rose. Do we have any? Um, that's not. Ooh, how about light blue? Yeah, this thick body, so. Ooh, another pretty color. Like a robin's egg blue. I love it. Okay. So now this is going to tell me drawing something. Maybe I need smaller. Ooh, I'm not good at drawing. Let's see. So, this could be anything. We are going to go let's 
do a round belly. Normally I would sketch it out first, but this is just for fun. So we have to go around and around and meet in the middle. There we go. Sort of resembles a vase, right? Well, not a vase. Big pot. This stuff really is thick. And if you can't reach, I would normally just turn this around upside down. Whatever makes it easier. Okay, for now. All right. So let's do some So that I'll show. So stem sweet, sweet, sweet. Don't do any. Do and maybe a little leaf. And a leaf. I usually do all the detail work like this last, but sometimes it helps to know where to put the flowers. Because I could put a flower over a leaf. And these are just basically two commas. <laughs> yeah, that's all these are. Oh, it splatters. And I don't mind when it splatters because that's just part of the you know, fun of mixed media. So, let's see. Let's get this color and see if I can do those flowers darker. They're just scribble. You're just given the illusion. There's a flower there. This color shows up a lot better. There's little W's. Colors. I only have like two greens. For some reason I don't want to make all the stems the same color, which is my weirdness. There, you go up there. But here are the 
tallest. How about that? Okay. So we got a lot of this pink mixture, pink left over. So let's make some different marks. Just trying to size it, you know, goes by the size of the page. What for me what determines the size of the brush. Um pink. Yeah, what color were we using? Little draws. Mixture. Okay, so these are going to be square flowers. I'm sure somewhere, some country, there exists a square flower. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely going to need more than one coat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So, let's let that set up. And we were going to do some pink marks up here. So, I'm going to get the, this one. Well, that's more of a coral. This is more pink. There we go. And whoops. We're making marks. None of them the same size. I am not about to measure. <laughs> Do try to like go between instead of layering one on top of the other. I'll try to you know hit that space between. And that just makes the marks look better. Get close to the petals over there. The mark making is just filling up space. There's no rhyme or reason other than it's just pretty color and you know filling up the space. You can fill every space that there is, or you can just fill some and leave some undone. Like, I think I'll leave that up there undone. I'll go ahead and give that another coat. What did I use? I used the big one. That way it covers more. filling in. I'm not going to stress so much about pressing and lifting. Just going over. The hard part is done. Chup, chup. Now you can plan your work so that you work on one thing in another color, let it dry. Or if you're impatient like me and sometimes, you know, you just get your heat tool and dry it. Make sure you don't put it right up on it. You know, you don't want to keep it there because it's just going to make the paint bubble. So I'm normally, you know, what's that? Like at least two inches, two to three inches. And I'm moving it around making sure it's getting all the areas. And once the acrylic paint loses its sheen, that means it's dry. And then I'll just keep tapping it to make sure whether it's sticky or not. But like this, I didn't want all the noise. So I'm working smart <laughs> instead of erratic like I normally would. But your hands, they get that muscle memory. You know, I've done quite a few pages in here, and I've done quite a few flowers in my other journal. So it's getting the hang of it. Um, is it perfect? No. <laughs> Do I get nice points all the time? No. But it's all fixable. 
you know? I don't want you to be a point. How about that? There we go. Well, nope, messed that up. Nope. Okay, you're more of that now. And that's okay by me. Okay. What else can we do? We have... Um, we got those. We got to go back over that. Green. Wipe the paint back up. I don't know if you can see it or not, um, but it's just a thin layer, so it definitely needs, you know, the two coats so that the background doesn't show through. And that's just the way, you know, painted this paint is. It is. Um, you know, shoot it right, I guess. It's not thick. I think it's fun going off the page like that. Normally they don't come out that well. I think I was afraid of like dirtying up pages underneath. Normally I'll have another sheet here, but I just went for it. There we go. Okay. So... Go ahead and go over this. I don't remember what brush I used with that. Not too big. I probably used that brush. I should use a smaller brush so that I don't make bigger leaves. I'm just going to go over the leaves. Because right now they're just outlined. Still not wanting the paint. There we go. Yeah, that's a close color. <laughs> I might have to redo those. I can make those purple. That'll work. I've got the purple out for them. So we'll do the square flowers. Redo. Well, this isn't even going on. It's weird. Hmm. Oh well, just the outlines of leaves then. You don't want to fill in. Okay. No worries. We got purple up next. Oh, pale mauve. No, mauve, pale. Same thing. And I don't know if you guys do the same thing that I do, but I don't like wasting all this. So if I don't, you know, mark up another page with the excess, I scoop it all back in. I just use this and scoop it back in because I hate wasting it. <laughs> yes, I'm weird. What? Hmm. Okay, I think I used you. You were the square one. Let's see if purple is a big enough difference. Yeah. Purple shows up better. SpongeBob square flower. That's what it is. New plant species, first ever. And if you're following along to this craziness, you can do whatever. <laughs> I just thought, square, why not? 
right? Okay. Um, that's a pretty color. I don't really need to. Yeah, I'll give that another coat. Why not? What color was that? That's my blue. I see one of those leaves underneath it. And I just like painting. I feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> nah, it's just fun. I have watched so many videos. There's so many great tutorials out there. This is not one of them. <laughs> this is just my creative journey, just practicing and having fun and stress relief and having fun. And if I can do this, that is my main thing. If I can do this, then anybody can because I do not consider myself talented. I just feel like I have a passion for learning and creating. And I just want to do stuff, make stuff. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to go over the leaves with a different color. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use the round brush. Now you can just leave your leaf like this. And if I had the right color, you know, just draw the veins in. And maybe I can just use yellow. It just depends. What am I in the mood for? <laughs> Are you going to dry? Let's see what that's going to look like. Well, there we go. Yeah, that'll add a nice pop color. Normally I like to do, with the bouquets that I've been doing, um, shading the leaves. Um, I'll have highlights and lowlights and just different shades of green. And I'll stick blue in it, you know, just whatever, just to have fun. But this is kind of a different, I guess, feel. Why are my hands so shaky? I don't know. <laughs> are the veins of leaves perfect? No. Well, they probably are. They are in different sizes here. Because I don't want to be perfect. I want to be finished. Right? Is that the same? I don't remember. Oh. I'll strive for perfection. I'll strive for perfection. Or is it um, for progress? Something. Voila! And I think I'll give the stem a little run. Highlight on one side. Well, it's going all over the place, so the sun's coming from all sorts of areas. There we go. There's that one. And the white's going to be weird. What is this color? It's a weird color. Ooh, big blob. Oh, I don't like it when you do the big blobs. There we go. So let's see. I just want something different than green. Oops. 
There we go. So it's almost like the veins are see-through to the background. Let's see, where can I plant my finger? Mm -hmm. I'm making these wavy on purpose. I'm trying to get a little curve to them. Oops. There we go. See how easy this is? There's not a whole lot of thought. Yeah. There's no reason to make it difficult. And if yours doesn't look like your reference picture, that's great. Because it is your creation. Attitude. I told myself that all the time. And when I picked this back up a month ago, I was like, oh my god, mine's terrible. And someone told me, don't compare. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot. So. You can do more veins. You can do straight veins. There we go. So. Loop. And come down. And loop. There we go. Just to give it some movement. That's what the artists would say. Let's give it some movement. Make it wiggly. There we go. <laughs> Bob Ross. See, there's a happy little tree there. With happy little leaves. I think this is gold. Let's make some dots. Oh, and you're not going to show up right now. Shaky bar. Let's see. And again, these are just filling in some spots to whatever makes you happy. got paint all over my elbow and I just put it all over my brand new shirt. Well that didn't last long did it? <laughs> I can't have nice things here. Okay we're going to do some decoration on those square flowers. How about that? can't believe I didn't notice it sooner. So I'm just doing square and let's just do lines. But you'll never see one like that. Square. And some lines. There we go. And I didn't even break out my ruler. I mean, goodness. <laughs> so, we can do some dots up here. I don't know what's wrong with that side. Let's get out the old pasta. I would think I wouldn't have flappy arms with all this shaking. But guess what? Oh, I hope that wasn't on camera. I found myself sticking my tongue out. <laughs> Why do we do that? Oh, 
takes up all that blank space. Smells like stars at night, doesn't it? Let's see. I need some. Oh, I put that in the wrong box. Let's do something on this. I'm not skilled enough to draw anything nice. So, let's just do dots. Dots are just so much easier. Sometimes I will lay this down. As these pens, when you do this part, it leaves a blob. And, I'll like run down. So if I lay it down some. Okay. And what happened to my black one? I just do black. I'm sorry, I got to shake you. I just don't need to. And we're just gonna do some barcodes. Yeah. <laughs> Some barcodes. Uh, let's do some over here. It just seems empty over there. And do want some more. that into there. So that wasn't a lot on this one. You know, you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. I wanted to keep this one, you know, a little bit simple so that if you wanted to follow along, you wouldn't be overwhelmed. Um, which color did I use? Was it this color? Okay. They just weren't touching the pot. <laughs> and that was bothering me. Um, I'm going to call this done. <laughs>